When you're a director, a binge watch can mean work if it ends up handing you the lead for your next film. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt devoured Killian Murphy's portrayal of vicious gang leader Tommy Shelby and realized that he was just what they needed for the sequel to A Quiet Place. Murphy, as it turns out, was a huge fan of the film as well, and somehow everything came together perfectly. Let's go over the specifics. First things first, who reached out to whom? Upon his first viewing of the film, the 40 26-year-old Irish actor was awed to the point of writing fan mail. He talked about how he was so taken back by the film that he wrote John Krasinski a letter gushing about his work with his 39-year-old wife Emily Blunt. However, he did not hit send on that one. Although Murphy advocates writing letters to personalities you admire, it becomes tricky when you're in the same world as those personalities because it can end up looking a whole lot like asking for a favor. And that was not his intention at all. This story had a happy ending though. The A Quiet Place director himself had been binging the British hit series after writing the script for the sequel. While most of us wouldn't think of Thomas Shelby as the lead in a horror slash thriller, his moral ambiguity was just what Krasinski was looking for in the new casting. Thankfully, the Dunkirk star was cast to play Emmett, a grieving father who's holed up in an abandoned factory to avoid monsters. After losing his own family to the sightless carnivores, Emily Blunt's Evelyn walks into his life with her three children. Moving on, it was a match made in heaven. Not only was he a fan of their film, but Murphy had also been admiring Emily Blunt's work for a long, long time. Despite that, he had never really gotten around to meeting her until he was cast in the sequel. He shared that working with people you've admired is something of a blessing for him, especially when they turn out to be great people as well. The grueling work required by a job like A Quiet Place was made easy thanks to his wonderful colleagues. They had similar ideas about rehearsing as well in that they did not believe in it. The three got together for the first time during the first day on set. He thoroughly enjoyed working on Krasinski's vision and praised his directional talent alongside his skills as an actor and general personality. Of course, Murphy was as much a fan of the sequel as he was of the first part. The specialty of these films, in his opinions, lies in their versatility as thrillers. They were mainstream cinema, and people could easily watch them for entertainment, yet if someone wanted to dig deeper and extract some meaning, there was quite a lesson to be learned. And that was what made them smarter than the rest of the mainstream thrillers. And what more? The cast got along famously. Aside from the pair, Murphy enjoyed working with Millicent Simmons, who plays Regan. He considers working in scenes with her an educational experience. Actors tend to lose the ability to really enjoy their work as they grow older and spend more time trying to perfect their art. They also look at their characters analytically rather than emotionally and prefer to intellectualize their characters to really get into the character. Younger actors, on the other hand, get straight into the character and focus on embodying the role to the best of their ability. It's something that Murphy enjoys experiencing while working with actors who are starting out, and he learns a lot from their work as well. But before he was a Christopher Nolan favorite, Murphy spent many days on the stage, which is where he learned most of what he knows. For about 45 years before he did any screen work, Killian Murphy was giving it all on the stage. Bringing together both of his forms of acting was something Murphy enjoyed as screen acting relies heavily on visuals in the form of close-ups. So, taking on a non-verbal role that required more physical acting than usual was a fresh change. Next, here's what he had to say about the overall experience. Now that we've covered what came before the actual film, let's get into how the experiences on set impacted him. While this wasn't the first post-apocalyptic film in his career, with 28 Days Later and Sunshine already under his belt, it was different in the nature of the character he portrayed and the challenges faced while filming this one. Not only did he have to really break into his physical acting skills, but he also had to spend time underwater doing scenes that were shot in a lake. As an actor, you can't let the fear of drowning get to you, not even with weights attached to your ankles. Murphy agreed with this sentiment and shared that underwater scenes are particularly unpleasant, but he he also didn't want to complain about it. He's grateful for just having the opportunity to take on roles like this. And of course, it's not easy, but then nothing in the world ever is. It's clear that he's great on and off screen as well. He was also faced with the challenge of setting up his character with those that were already well known, but he took it like a real sport and enjoyed embodying the changes Emmett had gone through since he was first seen. He wanted to do justice in his character as someone who was grieving over irreparable losses. He'd talked with 
Krasinski about the direction needed to display the depth of his emotions, and it translated into his appearance. Emmett wears his history and trauma on display, and this shows how far he has come from the random guy we see in the beginning of the movie. And now for some other news. Before we move on to the end, let's take a look of what's next for Killian Murphy and the rest of the cast of A Quiet Place 2. First off, here's what we know about the latest Christopher Nolan in the works. It's time for another Christopher Nolan classic to hit the big screen come 2023, and we're all waiting impatiently. The film Oppenheimer is based on the life of the father of the atomic bomb and theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, and who better to play him than Killian Murphy himself? This will be the director's first biopic, but we're not expecting it to take anything close to the usual route for one. The cast is star-studded to say the least, with Emily Blunt playing Oppenheimer's wife, Matt Damon, Robert Downey Jr., Florence Pugh, and many, many more. There'll definitely be some cameos from some of Nolan's favorites as well. The film is set in the 40s while Oppenheimer was working on the Manhattan Project, which culminated in the first detonation of a nuclear weapon as part of the Trinity test. It is also what led to the devastating bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This is the groundbreaking project to take up, and knowing Nolan, he'll probably do it justice. But whatever it is, we're thrilled to see his take on the most defining invention in human history. Next up, John Krasinski is stepping down from director of A Quiet Place Day One, and here's why. It's no secret that Krasinski made The Quiet Place franchise into what it is today, but he is unfortunately stepping down from director. He directed, co-wrote, and acted in the first part until his character died. Fans are heartbroken and also concerned for the franchise's future in his absence. But why is this happening? We'll tell you. Krasinski was happy to pass the baton to Jeff Nichols for part three until he backed out entirely. It'll now be headed by Michael Sarnowski, who directed the 2021 drama Pig, starring Nicolas Cage. Another director was being sought out in order to get a fresh take on the new film and the series, as that is what Krasinski thinks it needs. There's not much known about the film as of yet, except its release date on March 8, 2024. Given that this is a prequel, it'll be taking the audience back to the beginning of the apocalypse, possibly expanding to different themes and tones. While we're sad to see John Krasinski go, we're excited for what the future holds for this exciting film series. And finally, Emily Blunt is starring alongside Ryan Gosling in Universal's The Fall Guy movie. Emily Blunt has a lot of promising projects lined up for her in the near future with Nolan's biopic Oppenheimer, Prime Video's The English, and now the Universal has announced having her on board for the remake of The Fall Guy. The feature film is inspired by the 1980s series of the same name and will be directed by David Leitch. There's nothing that's been revealed yet about the plot of the film, and much of the cast hasn't been revealed either. But you bet we'll be looking out for more details as they come. And that's a wrap for this video. What did you think about Killian Murphy's role in A Quiet Place 2? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Goodbye for now and see you in the next one.